a lady boy in the Philippines. I'm going to cover this one on a bit of a something I've been chatting to somebody the last few days about um, because he is. He's already dating a lady boy and he's been out and met. And I know some people don't like calling themselves whatever. You know, I'll be honest with you, I'm just going to say lady boy because it's the easiest way to get that across to everybody. Um, well, I'm trying to tiptoe around the subject. First thing I want to say is, in the Philippines, I don't think anybody really cares most of the time. You know, if you're dating somebody, nobody seems to bother. Um, I know myself from the call centre, we employed about 12 people from the gay community in various forms, and all pretty good, all good workers. Um, generally always upbeat, always have funny things to say and some stories. Um, but they, the thing with dating somebody from who is a lady boy may be more complex relating to marital relationships and getting married and going overseas. So I would take that as a bit of a note, whether the civil partnerships are recognized, how it's recognized, etc., wherever you're going to or coming from. Um, and just to recognize that might be a problem if you do eventually end up as a couple. Um, what's my view on people? I'm, I'm very laid back. I don't care. You know, it's none of my business. You know, if, if somebody wants to be a man, wants to be a woman or whatever, it's not my problem. You know, it, it's, it's their choice. The same as if somebody wants to be with somebody who's gay or a lady boy or whatever, that's fine. You know, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not bothering anyone. Um, but one of the things that did come up as well is the issues around money, which is one of the common ones. And I've got to admit, from some of the stuff I've seen from expats that send me asking if, if a guy is a girl and all this sort of stuff, a girl's a guy and all this sort of stuff, there is definitely something to be very careful about extortion. Um, because I know even in the call centre, the gay guys and the lady boys and my best salespeople <laughs> because they are very, very good at selling. Now, you got to bear in mind in a webcam, in a online dating thing, they're going to be all over it like a rash. They'll be very, very good at it. Um, so be very careful about relationships, especially if people ask you for money. As I've said before, you shouldn't have to send any money. You shouldn't get it roped into other people's problems. Then problems were there before you arrived. Those problems will still be there when you've gone, or will still be there if you become a couple even. You'll probably find that there's more stories to extort money from you. But the point being is, if you do become a couple and send a fixed amount, do your homework. How much does it cost to live there? Are they actually renting it? Are they doing this? Because a friend of mine had somebody pay their apartment rent for two months um, because they were behind on the rent, sent them monthly money, etc., and didn't even know they were a lady boy. Um, it didn't take me long to see that that apartment A wasn't wasn't being rented out multiple times. Uh, sorry, it was being rented multiple times in the sense multiple men had paid for that same apartment over and over again through online dating and this is what happens they start to build a story they'll build a story that is worked out over many men you, you're talking about the fact that people send them money and they, in the beginning they might have got to a week of dating but they managed to get the first Western Union payments now they've got it homed to a career move and you're talking the ability to say I'm not available tonight because I'm going to be I'm a male, blah, blah, blah. At the same time, chat online with somebody else. They've just put you off for a day. You'll find that illness is quite common. Financial problems. Very manipulative stuff. And it's just stuff you need to be aware of. And as I said, if you, if you get into a fixed amount relationship, and it is a relationship, and I say it is a relationship, you don't have to tell me it's a relationship. Because sometimes people will try and sell it to me when I can see there's problems there. And they'll try and reinforce it. I'm just saying, look, it's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what you should or shouldn't be doing. 
But I'm just saying there's stuff I, I can see from the stuff you've told me that there's a lot of red flags there. So just be very aware that there's a lot of risk there. If you lose your money or whatever, that's your, up to you. It's your money. It's not my money. Um, but just be aware that these things do happen. And there is manipulation sometimes. Doesn't mean it happens all the time. There is a lot of happy people in the Philippines. I've got a few friends there. Um, it's probably three three guys that I know that are actually with uh, lady boys and two or three that are with other guys. Um, and they're all happy, they're all content. They all have the same relationship issues that um, straight guys get with women. So it's it's not it's not, not miles away. But the, the point being is just be aware. I do think the manipulation can be a lot stronger sometimes. Would it be fair to say better at lying? Probably better at lying would be more correct. Because I know even in the call centre, they hone the skill in. Um, a lot of the families find that the, the lady boy gay is often the breadwinner in the family. And you'll see that even in Thailand and other places. It, there is a certain drive in something. I mean, I don't understand it because, uh, you know, I'm not... I'm not gay, I've got no interest in lady boys, but the point being, the, I recognize the fundamental thing that they are very good at driving things forward. So they do succeed more well. They do make good money. They do find good ways to make a living. Um, some, of the, some of the Filipino friends I know that we have, and um, they, they have some very, very good careers you know they they're also not just good careers but also very well connected in the philippine careers and lots of good stuff on the background so there is some benefits to this um but I, all i'm saying is just be careful you know what you do up to you i'm not i'm not giving you a book that this is what you must do this must be what you must, must follow i'm just saying one of the things I do recommend is if something doesn't seem right, just note it down. And if you start seeing a pattern of them, then start recognizing things. Because a lot of time there, there will be gaps in stories or there'll be things changed. And it's those things that are the threads that pull everything else apart. And that's why I say, just be careful. Thanks for watching.